Shalom and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew podcast. Today I would like to speak to you about the third day of creation. In the third day of creation, we have a different picture of the divinity. Unlike the previous days, one day and second day when God speaks and things are immediately reflected in reality, in the third day we meet a new guest, the earth. The earth did not exist in the previous day. Earth in Hebrew, Eretz. Eretz. Eretz is not just land, a ground, or a soil, but Eretz comes from Ratzon. Ratzon means in English, will. Will. And as people say, when there is a will, there is a way. So in the third day, we meet the earth or the will. In the third day, God asks from the earth to bring forth fruit tree. In Hebrew, it's pri. But the earth intervene and reflect something completely different. The earth brings forth tree which makes fruit. In Hebrew, it's ose pri. What is the difference between fruit tree and tree which makes fruit. Let's look into the Hebrew terms and see what is the relation between fruit tree and tree which makes fruit and how the earth plays a giant role between those two. The Hebrew term for fruit tree is its pri. Its pri. The numeral value of its pri is 450. If we take the zero from the equation, because zero is not a number, the value is 45, like the numeral value of Adam or human in English, or the divine spirit. All of them are reflected in the number 45, 450, and so on. So God asks from the earth to take out, or from the will, to take out or bring forth human, its pre, or bring forth the divine spirit. But the earth brings forth something else, tree which makes fruit. In Hebrew, etz ose pri. What is the difference between etz pri and etz ose pri? The verb ose in English makes. The numeral value of ose is 381. Like the numeral value of Egypt, Mitzrayim plus one. This is the difference between its pre, fruit tree, and tree which makes fruit. The sense of Egypt in it. The sense of time. The sense of conflict. The sense of disagreement. Now the question is, why in the previous day, everything happens as planned. And in the third day, there is suddenly a distortion. And the answer is simple, because in the third day, we meet the earth, Eretz, or 
רצון, which is a will. The will does something else. The will works through time. How can we learn this? From the simple equation. The distance between its pre fruit tree and tree which makes fruit is the word makes in Hebrew ose, which has the numeral value of 381. The numeral value of the word earth in Hebrew eritz is 200. In 91. When we deduct the numeral value of Earth, which is 291, from the word makes, which has the numeral value of 381, we get the number of 90. 90 is the numeral value of the word water in Hebrew, Maim, which refers to the time element in our lives. When God asks to make a fruit tree, Etzpri, he means that the potential and the actualization are one. They are one thing. This is what He is asking from the earth to bring forth that the origin or the source and the actualization will appear at once. But the earth in Hebrew Eretz also contains the letters Tzadi Resh, which means in Hebrew Tsar, narrow, and our earthly will is narrow as well and we cannot picture divinity as it appears beyond time and space in order to catch divinity we need to have a sense of time a sense of development This is why once the divine speech meets the narrow will of mortal, it has to be fragmented. We cannot perceive something which is beyond time and space. We can only perceive pictures which are fragmented to us. We cannot see. A complete picture. Fish, they have a different lens. They can see something complete. The fish in us can see something complete. But we are not capable of doing this. Ancient lore says that the first human in the Garden of Eden could see the world from end to end. Meaning... Adam Arishon, first human, had a completely full picture of reality. He had the circle perspective from end to end. But after he ate from the tree of knowledge, he could see the world. He could see the world from edge to edge. Mikatse el katse. Katse, katse in Hebrew is written with three letters. The stem letters are two, kof and tzadik, ketz, which has the numeral value of 190. So, mi katse, ad katse, from edge to edge, is 380, meaning Egypt. After Adam ate from the tree of knowledge, he could only see conflicts and troubles. This was our little conversation for today. We wish you a beautiful day and wonderful week. 
Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlife.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos, and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlive.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kol Tuv and Shalom.